some years ago, and I, I don't remember exactly what year, Katie will be able to tell us. Um, it was before Cindy and I got married, and it was just Caleb and me living in the townhouse. And, uh, and it was when, but when Katie was working at the U.S. Embassy in Moscow, which is pretty impressive, I, must, I just must say. Um, but anyway, she was doing like an internship or whatever there. And um, so one night I went to sleep. Oh, oh and, I, and I know it was a while ago because Cindy and I got married in 2012. It was before that. And also, I still had a landline phone. <laughs> so so I, just, I really don't know what year it was, but it was a while ago. And um, so anyway, w one night, <clears throat> I'm in bed and I hear the phone ring. And, you know, it's like the middle of the night. I just let it ring. It goes to voicemail. I really don't think anything about it. <clears throat> and um, and so then, uh, the, the morning I got up and I was uh, in the shower and I always listen to the radio, NPR, when I, well then anyway, but I'd listen to the news while I was taking a shower. And so, um, so, so I, I hear this thing on the news that there's been a bombing at, at the, the the metro or the underground the subway thing in uh, in Moscow, uh, and some a few people had been killed, some more had been injured, and at first I didn't think anything about it, and then I realized that this wasn't just some disconnected story to me, that I had a child that was in Moscow that was riding the metro or whatever it's called back and forth every day. So of course. I had a little bit of momentary panic and then I remembered that the phone had rung in the middle of the night and so um, I quick went and listened to the voicemail and it was, had, in fact was Katie who had called to tell me that she was okay and um, that, that, that I need not worry. Um, but again, Katie will have to correct me on this, but she, um, that station uh, where, they set, where they did the bombing uh, was the station that Katie used, I believe, and um, and she had either, I think she had gone through it earlier that day, if I remember correctly, but anyway, that was kind of frightening, um, so yeah, okay, love you.